Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're gonna to be reacting with Farouk and Julius. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to the face of Allah. Guys, let's get straight into this. You shall see your Lord just as you see this full moon. You shall see your Lord. The comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah. You will see your Lord just as you see this full moon. No one will be fighting. No one will be arguing to see it. Everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna وَزِيَادَةً And they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Our Prophet ﷺ explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, Oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, yes, O oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, and what could we want more than this, O oh Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. ziyada. This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا تُنْفِقُونَ إِلَّا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ اللَّهِ You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending your money في سبيل الله to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being patient. وَالَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا إِبْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِمْ They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see the face of Allah, when we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse. وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ نَاظِرَةٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَاظِرَةٌ On that day, Faces will be shining bright. Now they're up. They're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. Ila Rabbiha Nadira. Ila Rabbiha Nadira. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been described as Dhul Jalali Wal Ikram. The face has been described as a face of Jalal. And Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor. Jalal means magnificence and ikram means nobility. The face of Allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility. Why? Because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else. Anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess. And that face of Allah, we will not see it in this world. Musa asked to see. But Allah said, you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous hadith of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. After Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet ﷺ went up and he went to a place higher than Jibreel. The Jibreel, Jibreel took him up and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the Prophet ﷺ went higher than any created being has ever been. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, this hadith is in Sahih Muslim, very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasul Allah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? 
And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Noor Anna Arah. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? Noor Anna Arah. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? What light is he talking about? What is this light? Our Prophet Sallallahu explained in another hadith. He clarified in another hadith. And this hadith is reported in Abu, by Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim as well. And in it he said, Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is nur. Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah has taken a hijab. What is that hijab? You see for us the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelops the beauty. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty and what is covered is beyond imagination. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet ﷺ said, Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is light. Law kashafahu, if he were to lift that hijab, la ahraqat subuhatu wajhihi mantaha ilayhi basaruhu min khalqihi. The rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty, the radiance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it, out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled Himself from us in this dunya. And what is His veil? His veil itself is light. So when our Prophet went up all the way to Isra wal Mi'raj, he saw the veil of Allah. So when Abu Dhar asked him, what did you see? Did you see Allah? He said, Noor Anna Ara. There was the light. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Hi. I was saying, guys, he's a Muslim, he's a Christian, I'm a Christian. But, like, I need a Christian for so what do you think about this? First off, this video needs no clarification, as they all said. Um, we can't see God. That's a fact. We can't mm -hmm. see God. <clears throat> and primarily, John, the closest person who was closest to God was um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, he ascended to, ev to heaven, and even at the point, the angel who guided him to the Hayat Prophet said he can't move beyond this point, then told the Prophet to continue his journey. And then the Prophet got to where Allah as a wajah stays and it was covered with lights. That that means even the most the most noble person in Islam can't even see God. I think you see that Muhammad didn't die. I'm not saying he didn't die. He died at the age of sixty in his early sixties. That's not what I'm trying to say. The whole point of this video is you can't see God. No. He ascended to heaven. I mean, we all saw it in the video. And by my religion, that was what I was taught. He ascended to heaven. Um, he was after taken by an angel. Age. Not after, this was during his lifetime. Oh, okay. So during his lifetime. Because mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the kind of person that he received me messages from God through an angel. So at a particular time, he wanted to meet, uh, not like he wanted to meet God, obviously God called him, I probably wanted to talk to him. And then the angel took him, obviously as a human being, I'll just go up. Oh, really? So the angel took him to a certain point and the angel said, beyond, I can't go beyond this point. And from there, the Prophet Wasallam continued. And in Islam, the Prophet is the most noble person. We all, we all want to be like him. He's, he's um, the kind of life he lived, the kind of... Um, He's the kind of person that we all want to emulate. That is why you can't mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you omit Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa because both of them are like together. Let me just put it in that sense. So based on the video, that's my take on it. You are saying, what are you trying to say that? I can I change with, okay, let me ask you a question. Do you guys worship Muhammad? No, we do not worship Muhammad in any way. For someone indirectly, you guys do. No, not indirectly. Directly, indirectly. But maybe I say, I mean, okay, maybe I will use the word respect. We respect Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yes, yeah. we do. We do and respect him. I feel when someone actually talks 
you about Mohammed. Yes. You guys get bad. Yes. We get upset, but we do not. It's not in our power to cause violence or anything. So whoever extremists do their thing, obviously they are usually are extremists everywhere in the world. They do their own thing, but they do not portray what Islam truly means. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. What do you think about this? You know, I think there is no um like I I I agree with this. Yes, like yes. that's why I love Merciful Salman. Like he, he he makes his videos so simple and straight to the point. Exactly. That like I feel you no know, when he's making his video, he does not actually talk about religion. He just yes. focuses on his goal, like to make you understand what he's saying. And it's very beautiful. Yeah, like you, you can't get a point to argue about like yeah, genuinely there yes. is nothing to argue it's about. It's all correct, yes. yes. Yeah. As a Christian, we all want to be God. We all want to be God. Muslims too, I think you also want to be like Mohammed who was supposed to go wrong. Yeah. That, that's not that's not the point. <laughs> that's what you, <laughs> you know, you said you are really school that you guys want to be God. I yeah, know, like, I know you want to be like God. You want to be like God, yes. Like, follow in his I think the right term to use is he's, just he's to do God. what God wants us to do and then emulate the things He wants us to do and stay away from things He doesn't want us to do. Obviously, no one can be like God. That's <laughs> just the thing. Yes, but that's, that's what we are fighting. That's what we are fighting, we are fighting to. to. Yes. Okay, all right. We're fighting to be perfect. Okay. Yeah, and I have a question for you. Is it? An angel carried Muhammad into the skies or something. I thought they ascended to heaven. Ascended to heaven. I like and for uh, one of the videos I've done here before, I can establish the facts that you guys know that in Islam there's the first heaven, second heaven, third yes. heaven, fourth, fifth, sixth. So that like, is a new thing to you. This is your first time hearing it. So, okay. I, I think there's, there's My brother here might have heard it before. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, wait, what you're trying to say that when when you are saying to heaven, who saw him? Ascending to heaven, or don't ask for that one. I or was he? Know. Was it his spirit that ascended? Or maybe he was dreaming. Oh, okay. So maybe he was about, in a deep sleep. Then okay. So about that one, I might not have an in-depth knowledge of it. Okay, guys, see you guys. So maybe I don't know if he was in a deep sleep or his body ascended. But let us know in the conversation, guys. Guys, please like, share, subscribe to our channel. We we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.